Mickey's Mouse Easter Special. Mickey is hosting a big Easter party at the clubhouse. We're here to help you get ready for the party, Minnie says. Goofy Bunny at your service. Goofy chuckles. <laughs> We're ready to hop to it and start decorating. Daisy look around. We won't get too far without the streamers and party decorations. Donald was supposed to bring them, but I don't see them anywhere. Can you find Donald? Lift the flap and see who's at the door. Outside the clubhouse, Pete signs at his watches. Mickey and his friends decorates for the party. He feels left out. No fair, he grumbles. Mickey's having an Easter party and I'm the only one who wasn't invited. Oh, drats, I wish I was the leader of the clubhouse. And then I could invite myself to the party. This gives Pete an idea. Wait a minute. If I can trick Mickey into leaving the clubhouse, I can sneak in and take over as leader. Soon after, Clarabelle Cove strolls with an Easter egg cake for Mickey's party. Pete offers to bring the cakes to the clubhouse so that Clarabelle can go back home and get dolled up for the party. It's all part of Pete's sneaky plan, pretending to be Clarabelle over the phone. Pete C asks Mickey to pick up the cake at the bakery with Mickey on his way out the door. Pete has to think quickly. He needs a tricky way to get to the clubhouse. A disguise? He ducks behind a tree to change. What is Pete's sneaky disguise? Look behind the tree to find out. Dressed as Mickey, Pete knocks at the clubhouse door. Minnie answers, Ah, hiya Minnie, Pete says in a high-pitched voice. It's me, Mickey, and I'm back with the cake. Minnie knows right away that something is wrong. Hmm, if you're Mickey, then tell me the magic words that open the clubhouse. Pete begins to stammer. Uh, Piska, Puska, meet Pete the cat. I mean Mickey Moose, uh, Mickey Mouse. Those are definitely not, not the magic words. Suddenly the clubhouse starts to st come apart and peace floats into the sky. When Mickey returns from the bakery, he can't believe his eyes. Where's the clubhouse, cries Mickey. And what happened to Minnie, Goofy, Daisy and Donald? Just then Professor Von Drake zooms overhead on his jet pack. It tells Mickey he has just seen the clubhouse pants flying by. According to my calculations, explained the professor, their pants landed exactly 15 steps away from where you're standing. Count 15 steps, then lift the flap to find out the clubhouse pants. After rescuing Minnie and getting the pants back to the clubhouse, site, Mickey and Pluto board the tomb plane. In search of the shoe garage. Soaring high above the river, Mickey spots Goofy in the shore. Oh no, Mickey exclaims. Goofy's headed for the waterfall. Thump! The shoe garage gets wedged between rocks on the edge of the waterfall. Mickey has to act fast. Oh, Toodles! Mickey calls. We need your help. Toodle arrives with the mos mosquitoes. Let's see, says Mickey. Looking at the mouse tools, we got the Pacific Fire, my tool, a crane, and a mystery muscatee tool. Which tool will help us lift the shoe carriage over the river? Did you choose correctly, tool? Lift the flip and flying down. With the shoe garage Sodi back in place, it's time to look for the head of the clubhouse. Come on, Pluto. Pluto, let's go. Mickey says, and he jumps into the tune car, not for the down road. Mickey and Pluto see the clubhouse bobbing a top of blast of the water from a broken fire hydrant. Poor Daisy is in the cup car. Which keeps circling around the clubhouse head. Mickey, I'm starting to get dizzy. Please get me down. 
I have you down in a jiffy, Mickey assured Daisy. He twists and turns the flower-shaped value on the fire hydrant with his hands, but he just can't tighten it. Hmm, I think this is a job for a mouse tool. Oh, toodles. Which tool should Mickey use to fix the hydrant? Left the flat to find out. Looks like we're head of the game, Drake's Professor Von Drake when the friends returned with the club house head. While you were gone, I made every discovery with my telescope. The clubhouse is uh, in outer space. Minnie can't believe her ears. Gosh, Professor, that means that Donald's in outer space too? Don't worry, Minnie. The clubhouse rocket will get us get us there. L- lickety, lickety spit explains Mickey. Come on, let's get into outer s- space suits. Above the rocket, Minnie st- studies the space map. Ah, oh, the ear must be on this planet. Which path should we take to get there? asks Mickey. The path of the pink space rock, the path of yellow stars, or the path of purple satellites? Which path do you think that they should take? Lift a flap to find out. The clubhouse is almost back together, but one piece is still missing. The girl up balloon, cries Mickey. That's where I'll we'll put all of our Easter eggs. But we're ev- we we'll looked everywhere. We'll never find it. Pete nervously steps out of the bushes. Well, hmm, the gloves. The balloon floated up the giant clouds, Mickey. But I'll help you get it back. I feel awful that the clubhouse goes all to pieces. Mickey accepts Pete's apology and then the two of them use the mis- mystery musketal, a bunch of colour balloons to float up to the clouds together. Mickey and Pete sneaks into the giant's house. He is fast asleep in his bedroom. There's the gloves balloon, Pete whispers to Mickey. The, gi- the giant great big snores keep blowing higher and higher. Oh, Toodles, Mickey calls in a quiet voice. We need to stop the giant from snoring. What do you think Mickey should use to stop the giant snores? Look around, look beneath the flat and see if you're right. Back at the clubhouse, the friends cheer for Pete and Mickey. Oh boy, being helpful is hard work, Pete says, reaching into his back pocket for his handkerchief. Hey, what's this? Well, painted me a polka dotted, polka, polka dotted bunny rabbit. Is it invitation to your party? Why, sure, Pete. Mickey says, I invited all my friends to the party. Use the stickers you found to put clubhouse together. Don't forget to say the magic word, Miska, Muska, Mickey Mouse. Well, you finished. Use the rest of the stickers to decorate the clubhouse for the big Easter party. Great job, everybody. We'll put all the clubhouse piece together back again. Do you remember how we found each piece? First, we counted 15 steps to find the pants. Then we used the crane to rescue Goofy and the show garage from the waterfall. Then we used a ranch to turn off the fire engine and save Daisy at his hand and the head. Then we zoomed into space and followed the path of yellow stars to find Donald and the ears. Finally, we used the balloon to float up to the giant Pacific to stop his snoring and retrieve the glove balloon. Super cheers! And that's the end.